Hello and welcome to the Airbrush Show from Scale War Machines. We make it our business to review the best airbrushing products for model makers. Here's what we'll be looking at this time. So here's the Sparmax Airism airbrush compressor. We've got it near our SB88 spray booth and we're going to paint a Tamiya Matilda. We've rigged it up in a standard fashion and we're going to use different pressure settings to show you how it sprays. But the idea is we're just going to use a primer and spray our Tamiya Matilda. One of the cool things about this particular brand of airbrushes and compressors is that they're standard Iwata fit. So we've actually rigged this up to show you using the silver bullet moisture trap that comes with the compressor, the bleed valve and an Iwata HPCH to show you that you can use Iwata airbrushes with this compressor without an adapter. Let's turn it on without the extractor so you can hear the noise level and we'll give a running commentary as we're using it. As you can see it cuts off depending on the setting. Generally it cuts off when it's at a pressure that you've predetermined using that. Let's change the pressure setting. So it's fairly noisy but not obtrusive. But when it's on the lower setting, say 3, which is about 10 psi, it runs continuously because the air is bleeding out of the bleed valve. We're going to aim for about 30 psi, which is midway between 0 and 1. There you can hear it doing its work to build up the pressure back to our chosen setting of 30 psi. So we'll use that to begin with and throughout the course of the spraying we'll reduce it. What we're going to do now is we're going to turn the extractor on. As you can see it's coping really nicely, spraying this great paint from Ammo by Mig. We've turned the extractor off so you can hear us, but it's coping really well. Gives constant, reliable airflow. It's powering this Iwata HP CH with ease. It's giving a really good, even coat. We'll change the pressure slightly just to see if it makes any discernible difference on camera. Sort of midway between 2 and 3, setting 2 and 3 is about 20 psi. You can see progress on the Matilda there, the paint's just drying off. 20 psi, which is 2.5 on the bleed valve, is a great setting for these sort of general coats. So we'll just apply an infill using different pressure settings on the Sparmax compressor. We're certainly very impressed with it and we're going to use it to finish off this primer coat. We're not going to completely cover everything. We're just going to try and get an even sort of universal coating, just something for the next coats of paint to bite into. There we have it, the Sparmax Airism Compressor. When you've finished, you're supposed to bleed it, which we've done. It's performed really well spraying this Matilda. 
didn't miss a beat. It's given a flawless finish. All in all, it's been excellent. It performs really well for such a compact unit. We'd definitely recommend it. It's more than up to the task. It's not excessively noisy. It cuts out and you have moments of quiet and then it kicks in again. As soon as you go down into the lower pressures, we took it down to 10 psi. It runs pretty much continuously with air bleeding out of this. It's obviously slightly more noisy as a result. If you've got an extractor pumping out all your paint anyway, that's going to probably be noisier than your compressor. You've got here a very compact, very reliable and seemingly very well engineered unit. The Airism is a great little compressor and it has the advantage of not only does it look sleek and cool, but it's also very transportable and you can take it with you anywhere. We'll probably use it for when we travel, if you go on holiday or what have you. We've been really massively impressed with the level of the engineering and the overall quality of the unit. If you want to find out more, there's details of pricing and availability down in the description. Thanks for watching and we hope you've enjoyed this review of the Sparmax Airism Airbrush Compressor. Stay tuned for more how-to guides from Scale War Machines. Bye for now.